So here's the thing everyone's talking about. So we'll fast forward. Bill O'Reilly talking with uh, Don, Bill, uh, what's his name? Paul Donald Ryan. Trump. Oh. And uh, it's something when you can out racist the biggest racist in the country. So I guess that makes Don Bill O'Reilly the biggest racist. Here we go. He's trying to he's trying to get uh, Donald Trump to say some racist stuff. And let's it doesn't work. Donald Trump doesn't fall for it. Youth with African American youth, you have a 59 percent unemployment. With people of prime age, it's much higher. But how are you going to get jobs for them? Many of them are ill educated and have tattoos on their foreheads. And then wow. you know how are you? What? You got they got tattoos on the they got tattoos on the foreheads. He's got he's got more tattoos <laughs> on their forehead. Yeah, that was it. What, Mike Tyson is the only guy I know who has a tattoo on his face. Black Actually, guy. the only yeah. person I know with a tattoo on their forehead is Charles Manson. Charles Manson is a white guy, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty sure. That's... Yeah, you know, you know, all the all the black guys with tattoos on their foreheads. You got Manson, the guy from American History X. Who sure. else? <laughs> That's it. I'm I'm out. There's two white guys. That's all I can Maybe think of. Maybe watching an MSNBC prison documentary on the weekend. Okay. Might... Those are all still white but, guys with yeah, the tattoos. Crazy on their... prisoner guys. A carny. A carny, no. usually a white carny. But believe me, if you, if, he's not racist. He's not, he's not racist. <laughs> I he's, love it's, it's just one step removed from, you know, the Jews with the horns and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> like it's what just, are you going to do with them? You know. He, I love how he says that many of them are ill-educated. Uh, you know, Trump, Trump, I love the ill-educated. <laughs> Okay, here we go. He's got more to say. And, and I hate to be generalized about it, but... By the way, this is like a racist off. <laughs> it's true. Uh, he hates to... By the way, he hates to be general. I'm going to back that up because he hates to be... He hates to generalize. Yeah. I don't know if you heard... He wouldn't Bill, dare do that. He just... He wouldn't dare... He hate, yeah. In fact, if he does it, he would hate it. But it's true. Uh, if you look at all the educational statistics, how are you going to give jobs to people who aren't qualified for jobs? We're going to bring jobs back. We're going to have Apple computers made in this country, not just we're going to have a lot to have of skills to right make now, Apple computers. Yeah, and you the will, educational we will get systems. The skills. In, what? We will get the skills and we'll develop the skills. We have an incredible population, and they don't have the jobs. The, our good right. jobs are going to China. They're going to Mexico I, we, every we know day. That. Carrier, but it's more challenging. Bill, carrier, well, wait a minute. Carrier and Nabisco and Ford and every company you can name, they're building in Mexico. They're not here. I got because it. we have politicians that don't know what they're I got it, but don't you want to say something about the blacks? Don't you want to say how bad they are? You don't want to say, I got it. I understand there's problems with the economy, but blacks have tattoos on their foreheads. He's saying they're too stupid to have jobs. So this is what he's saying, Hank. He's saying that they're too dumb to make Apple computers in the inner cities of America because they don't have the education the slaves in China have. Mm -hmm. Right. Apparently, the slaves in China, very well educated. They still don't make any money because they're, they're, they have to put fences to keep them in. Right? This is what he's saying. He's saying that the people in America aren't educated enough to do the jobs that used to be done here, and now we're sending them. So he's just saying, hey, they're, they're out. They're sending all Nabisco, Ford, General Electric. They're all sending the jobs out of the country. Is it because the people in America don't have the skills? Because they're sending them to less educated, poor people in other parts of the country. But Bill O'Reilly says, no, they're doing that. They're Nabisco. They're sending those jobs out of the country because the blacks have tattoos on their head. Well, I don't want to eat a cookie made by somebody who has a tattoo. I don't. I want to I want to co eat a cookie made by an elf in a tree. <laughs> no tattoos. So let's see. There's a little bit uh, more. By to the this. way, would, would if I mean, if if Donald Trump pushed back with the logical ex, the logical pushback, which is. Well, are you for uh, significant education reform in the black community? Can we, can we start like actually getting the getting the black yeah, community better educated? Would you be okay? Would you be cool with that? So, I, I guarantee Bill O'Reilly would spin around and all of a sudden be like, "Wait a second. Whoa, you, yeah, wait, if, if Trump, I'm already I, spinning around thinking that Trump would ever propose such a thing. Yeah. Like, like if yeah. Trump, I mean, if Trump said, hey, why don't we invest ed in an education <laughs> in the inner cities? O'Reilly would, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying right. you can't educate these people. They're animals. That's what, he, that's what he's really that's saying. exactly what he would say. Because what he's saying is you can't do anything for them because they are from broken families. That and that's And you can't have a good life if you're from a broken family. You know, just ask Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> you know the president of the United States. Just or ask Bill, just Bill ask Clinton. Bill O'Reilly. Bill ask Bill O'Reilly's kids. 
Oh, they're going to do it, coming from a broken family. I mean, they, look, now I guess they're, they're not going to be able to get jobs, Bill O'Reilly's kids, and they're going to get tattoos on their forehead, and they're not going to be able to get a job because they're from a broken family, just like black kids in the inner city. Isn't that weird? But it doesn't apply when it's Bill O'Reilly's family. Just black kids in the inner city. They need to stay married. I mean, let, let's look at the breakdown of Donald Trump's families, all three of them. Families. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He puts his name on all different types of families. Bill O'Reilly's been married twice, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's see if he's got anything and, more. And but it's more not. challenging in the African American industry. It's look, um, when we drive up to Yankee Stadium, we go through Harlem. All right. It's more challenging for a poor child in Harlem without parental guidance in a. So apparently there's just kids wandering all over Harlem with no parental guidance. They live in they live in the gangs of kids in basements of hotels. There's no parents. <laughs> what the? They're always out there what playing stick ball and getting into whatnot. Getting into whatnot with the uh, with the, and then they, they go and they trade bennies after playing stick ball. Sure, them and their dog Petey <laughs> and uh, Tom uh, Fleury and hijinks. So this is again, again he goes back to you can't. They're 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 effectively defective because they come from broken families. They don't have a mother and a father living with them. A lot of, you know, so being raised by a grandparent or a single mom, that's no good. Even though Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, both from broken families, they became president of the United States. But apparently, and by the way, Bill Clinton's still married, still still on the one marriage bill, mm -mm -mm, kept it together. Well, Some, somehow Bill O'Reilly was able to keep it together. Barack Obama, still on his first marriage bill. Isn't that funny? Ronald so apparently, Reagan. Nancy, Nancy was his second wife, right? right? Nancy Reagan, Ronald Reagan's second wife. <laughs> Nightmare. So again, this this all goes back to the <laughs> black people are defective and you can't fix it because they won't stay married. So no matter what we do for them, it's not going to fix it because they come from broken families. They won't stay together. They're such animals. They can't stop banging outside of marriage and having kids because, you know, they have the kids so they can get the welfare. That's, so that's all this. That's all what this is. That's, that's Bill O'Reilly, what he's doing. He's reinforcing every racist stereotype, BS meme from the right wing. Ever. It's the blacks. They have the kids out of wedlock so they can get the government money and then their kids grow up as criminals they're all animals and criminals even though they, they don't they don't use drugs any more than fucking white kids do except we put them in jail a lot more so let's see if there's anything by, more by to the say. way harlem is gorgeous right now bill clinton has an office there harlem he did not go drive through well, harlem and see all this poverty when does bill drive through harlem a b he did go to harlem one time do you remember that yeah. it was a couple years ago he went with al sharpton right mm -hmm. it was he, a disaster they went to a black r restaurant in harlem and i don't know if you remember what bill o'reilly's report back was he oh. goes hey it was just like eating anywhere else nobody was yelling motherfucker Nobody was saying, get me a motherfucking iced tea. This is what Bill O'Reilly reported back from Harlem. Like, oh, my God, people are just running around yelling motherfucker in restaurants. Yeah, it's almost like they're, I don't know, human beings, civilized in a city. Yeah, he was stunned that they were well-behaved, regular people. He was stunned people. that right. they weren't animals. He, so enough this, to report that on TV. Hillary Clinton, <laughs> by the way, two days ago on The View, said that uh, Megyn Kelly, superb journalist. So get ready for more compliments on Fox News journalism from Hillary Clinton for the next eight years. If she becomes president, just get ready. Let's see if there's any more to this. Cool, it's Oh, no, that's part than it is for some white kid out in Garden City. All right. And you say you can bring jobs back. But, how, you know, if the kid isn't qualified to do the job and can't do the work, I mean, you got to get into the infrastructure of the African-American community. You have any plan to do that? You know, I've never thought I'd be in a position to be, get him, Donald. Come on. Get him, Donald. Yes. Come on. He's making me cheer for Donald I'm Trump. I'm cheering for Trump right now. Let's see what Trump. You got to get into the infrastructure. It's like <laughs> they have they've a broken culture. Their mind is broken. That's what Bill O'Reilly's saying. Their, it's I, their mind is broken. It's not that we incarcerate them at higher rates for the Senate. It's not that we've outsourced every job. It's got nothing to do that they wouldn't allow, weren't allowed to vote for until a generation ago. It's got no, And now when they try to vote, we suppress their vote all across the goddamn country. You know, the kind, of, things, the kind of, of programs he's talking about are things like forced marriage. Essentially, like, if you, and I'm not kidding. Like, if you leave a marriage, we'll give you less in benefits or whatever right like he's talking about programs like that but that basically yeah. are social engineering of the worst kind right he's saying so he's saying in an abusive marriage and we'll give you a little bit more money right so like we'll stay like if we said that to bill o'reilly's wife hey stay with that guy who's abusive to you and we'll give you more money that's that's the kind of social engineering he wants to and, do. and by the way 
His wife wouldn't put up with it either. His wife wouldn't put up with it. His so, wife was like, I'm pretty sure it's economically better for me to stay in this marriage. Guess what? I'm out of this fucking marriage. So let's hear what Donald Trump's comeback is. Well, it is true, and it's about education. But so there you go. So there we have it. It's uh, There's nothing you can do. Blacks, uh, and you got to get into the infrastructure of the black culture. <laughs> You know, they keep getting divorced. Uh, I know I'm divorced twice, and you're divorced three times. Listen, um, <laughs> we got to get into the infrastructure of white well, Americans. Let's fix we the family. To, we don't have to get into the infrastructure because we're white, and our infrastructure is working just fine. And, you know, that's what the black community needs most is an out-of-touch millionaire who's ghostwritten several books and has been a TV host for 30 years to figure out what's wrong with their infrastructure. Yes. <laughs> who know, who Truly know? the philosopher king for yeah. that, for that yeah. particular fiefdom. When will he bring his wisdom? You know, the guy, the guy who doesn't realize that Harlem apartments are million-dollar apartments. That's the guy I want. The guy who still thinks that the Bowery is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Bill O'Reilly isn't even—talk about not qualified. He's not even qualified to be a good racist. <laughs> <laughs>